Uh, everybody put your hands together for Sean Broom. Thanks, Warren. <laughs> How's everybody doing tonight? Awesome, great. Okay, um, before I start my set, I have a request for everyone in here, and I uh, hope you can help me out with it because it's going to be really awesome if it works. Um, if you find something I say funny tonight, which you may not, but you may, and if you do, instead of laughing, can you just say thank you? <laughs> like, it doesn't matter how loud you say it, like, if something really made you laugh, you'd be like, oh, thank you, yeah, thank you. And if something was all like, huh, like this, you'd be like, oh, thank you, thank you, that was great. But, like, seriously, do that, okay? Thank you, Sean. Thank you, okay, great, okay, good. Now we can start. A couple months ago, I know you people have heard of Hannah Montana, right? Right? Obviously. Best thing ever, right? A couple months ago, this kid, and I'm not making this up, I wish I was because it is so funny. This kid, thank you, yeah. This kid took, uh, alright, stop it, that's fine, that's fucking stupid, alright. This kid went to an airport and he tried to hijack a plane so we could crash it into a Hannah Montana concert. And I'm not making it up, it was in the States, I don't know where it was, but look it up. This kid went to the airport expecting to just be able to take a plane and crash it into the Hannah Montana concert. The best part about it is, it was on the wrong day. <laughs> right, so this kid just shows up all filled with piss and vinegar and he's like, I'm gonna do it, today. You watch yourself. And they're like, whatever, you stupid kid. <laughs> yeah, what if OPP just stood for other people's penises? And all this time I've just been going, yeah, you know me. It's, uh, it's combining two big blockbusters from this summer, and it's gonna turn, it's kind of like a spin-off series, I guess, if you will. And it's called, uh, Zohan Kills the Love Guru and Then Kills Himself. <laughs> I think it's gonna be pretty good. I'm gonna try to get the original cast, it's gonna be tight. Um, yeah, do you guys remember Dick Asman? <laughs> Worst job ever, right? He worked at a shitty gas station. Like, teens work at gas stations, and this guy with this awesome name was like, Can I fill your tank up? <laughs> yeah, my name is Dick Asley. I was on Leno. Whatever, that's not a funny joke. Um, yeah, I started working out. No, I didn't. But I started, like, thinking about working out and, like, my goals for it. And the only thing I want is I just. I want a tight mannequin ass. That's all I want. I just want people to look at me and go, that guy's got an ass like a mannequin. That's, that's tight, that's nice ass. Right? Like I can see a pair of dockers on that ass. Definitely, definitely. You could do worse become a compliment. It's like the most underhanded compliment. Yeah, you could do worse, I guess. Worse than what? Worse than my job that I'm working at? Yeah. <laughs> oh, this next one's just stupid. Um, I wouldn't, sometimes I think about situations that I could get into in life where like I just wouldn't know what to do. You know, like if a bus was crashing, like off a cliff and I was in it, I, I wouldn't know what to do. 
But the thing I'm most worried about is I wouldn't know what to do if I just saw Hulk Hogan's penis. Right? Like at the gym or in a club or something. And it was just there and I just saw it. I was like, I don't know, I don't know what, what it is. Um, yeah, like I said, that's not a very good um, I thought it's really funny though, but I don't care. Uh, oh yeah, okay. You guys have seen that that Oreo Lick Race commercial? Right, where that old woman and that little girl lick the Oreos? Is that not like the grossest commercial ever? When that old woman is licking that Oreo, it just makes my stomach want to throw up everywhere. There's just something about the way her tongue moves. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I'm thinking about it now, it's just making me sick. Yeah. yeah. The nerve of Tony Hawk to release a game like Downhill Jam. That's just a fucking snowboarding game. Right? Yeah. And the nerve of, like, little kids to just talk back to me. You know? Like, if I'm out in public and I see a kid being a little shit, and I'm like, hey, stop it, kid. And he's like, fuck you, you're not my dad. Like, fuck you, I could beat the shit out of you, kid. You're like six years old. I don't know who you think you are, but I am more than that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. If you work in, like, an office, right? Like, if you work, like, a, a shitty temp job, like, you're typing stuff up in an office or in cubicles, and you have to wear a suit to work, just wear like a funky 70s suit, right? Because it meets all the criteria of a suit, except it's just got big collars and it's powder blue. You'd be the coolest person in the office, and everyone would be like, I want a cubicle next to Tim. <laughs> Not Tim Keller. I don't know where Tim Keller works. He might be a stripper. I don't know. <laughs> he has three kids. He might be a stripper. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Did you know that if you don't renew your health card, after seven years, you're considered legally dead? Right, I got five years left, and I'm so excited. Yeah. This, these next ones might shock you a bit, because they're really hard-hitting truths, and I want you to get ready for them. I'm going to say two things right now, and get excited, because here we go. Old people, most old people, are just losers. And babies are just stupid. Go ahead. Go ahead. Thank you. Stretch Armstrong, you remember that toy, right? Stretch Armstrong, you stretch him out. But everyone was like, what's in him? Yeah, he was filled with conditioner, and that's why he was the best toy ever, because when you cut him open, you're like, oh, this is great. My hair is going to be silky smooth. I wrote that, like, right before the, like, I came up here. I'm like, ah, that's funny, yeah, conditioner. Yeah, Armstrong, yeah. No one will think of that. Yeah, that'll be funny. All right.